Hello everyone and welcome to the first video of this channel. Uh, so for those who don't know me, I'm Seven. I'm a professional driver on Forza Motorsport. And today on that first video, I'm gonna show you how to drive a clean and fast lap on the next rival for the Le Mans Sport series. So this week, the combo is gonna be the Mazda 787B on Silverstone. One thing to know with that car is that, of course, it's a prototype, it's very fast, but uh, combined with the track, which is Silverstone, it makes a really tricky combo that offers a really narrow margin of error, so we really, really need to be uh, as smooth and as precise as possible. As the car, as you can guess, as a prototype, it is really, really sensitive. So we are going to start reviewing everything, but first things first, we're gonna start by checking the driving assist you should use and you will have to use in the rival event. So the rival event, as you can see, should have this assist. So everything disabled, you can choose between normal and sim steering, I use sim, but is as you like. Uh, no TCS, no line, uh, you should use manual with clutch as well. And think about the rewind if you need to, to start some lap quicker. So the next thing, we're going to talk about the telemetry and the power band of the car. So the car can rev up to about 10,000 RPM, but looking at how the gears are and how, uh, how long it is to shift with that car, we'll, we'll see just right now. So, so you need to shift at about 9.5, thousand RPM to every gear, but going to fifth gear, as you can hear, because it's longer, a longer gear you will have to, to shift as late as possible from fourth to fifth so you have to shift at about 10,000 using everything the car can give up until hitting the rev limiter so you will lose less power coming to fifth gear it's minor but it can still make a difference in your lap so now I will let you enjoy my best lap I recorded so far without any commentary and then we'll come back to talk about what to do turn by turn And that's it, now let's review it turn by turn. So coming up to turn one, Abbey, just lift off a bit the throttle, keep as much speed as possible. Use a bit of the curve, but not too much, otherwise you will spin. Coming coming up to the loop, nothing too too difficult here, just hard braking. Here on this slow corners, you can use a bit of e-brake or handbrake, depending on how you pull it, to make the car turn a bit sharper if in case you come too fast in the corner. On this lap, I didn't use it, so as you can see already ahead on the, the split, so it's pretty good. Here, get the apex as late as possible in the previous corner. Same on this one, get a line, a U line or V line, depending on how you want it. 
to, to be as straight as possible on the exit of the corner to get as much traction as possible. No coming up on cops. Stop on the brakes. Use the curb. Early on the throttle. Get, a, get the speed done. Coming up to Maggots and Beckett's. Tap on the brakes on every corner, shift down from four to fourth and third on the right and the left, then let the car flow, only a tap on the brakes, and let the car settle and throttle back, and it, and it should be fine. So then coming up to the fastest point of the track, then braking onto stow. Here I messed up a little bit, I, you need to get an apex a bit later than what I got on that lap. But otherwise, it, this is the pretty much the center line. Just dive a bit later, and then final corner the chicane and throttle as early as possible. Get the traction done. Nothing too difficult, but it's still something really hard to do. Uh, that lap was 42.2, if I'm if I'm right. Um, this wasn't the best lap. If I didn't do that little mistake on the final lap, that should have been closer to a 42.0 probably, or even a 41.9. The laps would probably go down to about mid 41s uh, in the rivals event, but this is a fairly good overview on what you should do and what to expect from the car. I really hope you enjoyed that lap. Be sure to tell me in the comments if you liked it or not, uh, what to change, what to add, and what to do in the future, because I hope to do more videos. Um, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel to not miss any future videos. Um, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.